<laughs> what do you enjoy most about doing Star Trek? What do I enjoy most about do, uh, mm. doing Star Trek? Oh, there are a lot of things that I enjoy about Star Trek. Uh, uh, the challenge, mm -hmm. and one of the challenges, of course, to, to share with the audience more of this fascinating character that I play called Sulu that we really haven't had a chance to share with the audience. And, and Sulu uh, um, is, is always getting uh, interesting scenes cut out, you know. Yeah. So uh, that's one of the, the things that I find challenging about uh, doing Star Trek. Mm -hmm. I enjoy working with uh, my colleagues. I enjoy the fact that we have another opportunity to connect with our large extended family, our Star Trek viewers and supporters. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, it, it's a basis for their making more input to uh, Star Trek as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's uh, the fun of uh, uh, seeing what what the creative people, the writers and the and 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 Harv or whoever might be taking the helm, you know, mm -hmm. uh, come up with uh, to extend and expand the Star Trek legacy that we already have. You know, we have a whole vast history, so that that dictates certain things happening. Mm -hmm. But you know, to make that happen in a fresh, new way, to make it. Uh, even more engaging, to let Star Trek grow rather than have a set formula mm -hmm. and just replicate that over and over and over again as uh, James Bond mm -hmm. seems to be doing. You know, each one of the Star Treks have been different. You know, mm -hmm. Star Trek the motion picture was a, a philosophic yeah. uh, journey. Uh, Star Trek II was a rip snort and good space opera, you know, two mm -hmm. relentless forces coming. Uh, Star Trek III was a fascinating uh, uh, exploration of uh, uh, Vulcan and Vulcan, you know, a whole alien uh, world. Mm -hmm. And uh, Star Trek IV was a, a wonderful, fun romp that also brought back that resonance of a commentary on contemporary issues. Mm -hmm. So each one of them has been different and expanding yeah. the Star Trek lore and, and adding to its dimension and richness in, uh, uh, in the unique way. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I, you know, I, there's a great sense of anticipation to mm -hmm. see what uh, they come up with for Star Trek V. What was your reaction to being asked to do the first Star Trek movie? My reaction to, at long last, it's about time. Because yeah. as I said, you know, they've been giving us these start dates uh, for so long. Finally, it's, you know, do they really mean it this time? Well, we'll see, you know, <laughs> was the reaction. Mm -hmm. On the average, how long does it take to shoot each movie? Well, it's hard to say. Each movie is a unique and singular entity uh, 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 on its own. Star Trek, uh, the motion picture, the first one, took a long, long time. And it, uh, uh, the budget uh, grew and grew and grew like V'ger. Uh, the others were much more disciplined and uh, uh, came in, well, you know, primarily because we had uh, Leonard Nimoy to crack the whip. Uh, he's, he's as, you know, as I said earlier, wonderful about developing this uh, sense of teamwork, esprit de corps, but he's also very, very disciplined in terms of getting the day's work done mm -hmm. and bringing it in on budget. Mm -hmm. He brought Star Trek three in under budget, something like $200,000. And Star Trek uh, f uh, IV was right on the money, both in terms of budget and uh, uh, schedule. Mm -hmm. And that included uh, rather extensive location shooting. Mm -hmm. How would you compare acting in Star Trek to acting in other movies and television shows that you have done? Well, there's um, a comfortableness about doing Star Trek in that you know, you're working with people that you've worked with over the years. Mm -hmm. You're working with friends. So it's like a kind of uh, a family reunion where you get paid and have fun. Mm -hmm. um, whereas with uh, other projects, uh, it's the freshness of it, the unique new challenge of it that uh, you find uh, uh, stimulating and engaging. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm you know, starting this film, uh, Return from the River Kwai. Mm -hmm. So you know, there's a shift in gears, a shift in character and time. Uh, 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 adjusting to the people that I'll be working with, uh, and it's going to be a distinguished cast that I'll be working with. Uh, James Fox, uh, Ben Kingsley uh, from England. It's an English production. The director is English, Peter Hunt. And uh, uh, from the United States, just the two of us, myself and Eric Roberts, a mm -hmm. very fine uh, uh, actor. And from Japan, uh, Toshiro Mifune, the great actor, uh, doing a cameo as a ship captain. So mm -hmm. it's going to be an exciting cast to be working with, but I've not worked with any of these people before. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole new, you know, 
uh, adjustment uh, that's going to be required there. Mm. What can Hold you? On. Oh, yeah. about mortality. Like, do you have any, do you have any ideas? About no about? idea yet. You know, I've heard like at the convention, they said it might be about mortality. Like, well, you'll hear a lot of rumors, mm -hmm. you know, and and Star Trek fandom is is very very fertile uh, soil for rumors to sprout in. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, there's a lot of shit there. <laughs> so don't believe all those rumors okay. that you hear. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's safe to or not. <laughs> oh, yes, that word cannot be used? Well, it's cable. It's, okay. it's cable. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> There's a lot of manure there. How's okay. that? <laughs> Much better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can put in manure for shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll work. Um, anything else that I'm like out of questions here, but anything else you want to say about the series or about Star Trek in general, about yourself or about Sulu? Oh, well, I guess we'll grow old with Star Trek, but you know, if that pattern that's been set is consistent, Sulu 20 years from now will still be there at the helm saying, Hey, hey sir, I think I can reach Warp 3. <laughs> Missed it. Missed it. Uh -huh. I think I better go in for. My retirement pay. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that is... Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought I'd give you a little performance, yeah. too. Well, that'll to be a perfect put thing put to end the interview with. It. Yes, that'll... <laughs> I'll do it. It's Circle Limit.